and children. Today, I am going to teach the topic animals. Okay, in everyday life, we are using many forms of animals. Are short in the future. While speeding, the boy is going to pick a football player using energy. Okay? Then what is energy? The ability to do work is called energy. Or capacity to do work is called energy. When we say that a body has energy, we mean that it can do some work. It can do some work. In a SI system, the unit of energy is two. J O U N P. Two. You have to remember the unit of energy as two. There are many types of energy. Mechanical energy, electrical energy, thermal energy, etc. But the whole energy is divided into two. One is potential energy, second one, kinetic energy. Okay? Then, let us discuss potential energy. Potential energy is a kind of strong energy in the body. By virtue of its position or configuration. In other words, the energy is possessed by a body due to its position or configuration. For example, as shown in the picture, when the steam of a boat is stretched, the muscular energy is strong in the stream and the boat in the form of potential energy. Okay? Next, same, which means that muscular energy is stored as in the form of potential energy. More examples, water stored high up in the dams has potential energy. Next, water tank on the top of a building has potential energy. On more example, when a cutter lifts and acts above his head, then the energy is stored in the axe as in the form of a potential energy. Is clear? Oh. The types of potential energy. Potential energy can be many types. Okay, gravitational potential energy, elastic potential energy, electric potential energy, etc. Let us discuss. Gravitational potential energy. Potential energy possessed by a body at a height above the ground is called gravitational potential energy. I will show you. It is the amount of work done in lifting the body to a height against the force of gravity. It is against the force of gravity. Gravitational potential energy is the usual form of potential energy. Mathematically, potential energy is equal to mgh. Mg, m into g, it is weight of the body or force acting on the object due to that force or acting on the body due to that. But h is the distance through which a body is rising. Distance through which a body is rise. Okay? Is clear? Then elastic potential energy. It is the energy associated with the state of compression or expansion of an elastic object. Expansion or compression of an elastic object, which means that the potential energy. Possessed by a body due to its configuration. Due to its configuration, it is given by potential energy is equal to half into K x square, where K is the force constant or spring constant. X is the length of expansion or compression. Here, X is 
the length from here to here. This is the length of elongation or expansion. Is clear? Okay. Then next topic, kinetic energy. The bodies in motion are capable of doing work and hence possess energy. The word kinetics comes from kinesis, which means motion. Okay, the energy possessed by a body due to its motion is called kinetic energy due to its motion. Is clear? Then factors determining kinetic energy. The kinetic energy of a body depends upon the mass of a body. We can see from this relation mass. Then speed of a moving body. Speed of a moving body. So kinetic energy is equal to half into m into v square. Mass into velocity square. Okay. Then from this relation. We can conclude that more the mass of a body, the more is its kinetic energy. Similarly, the more the speed of a moving body, the more is its kinetic energy. Okay, is clear? Okay. Today, topic is over. Thank you.